It will be Mr. Breyer. Thank you, Rapporteur. Dear colleagues, this file is essentially about how to reconcile effectively removing terrorist content online and protecting fundamental rights. And the EP team is negotiating on the basis of a position that was adopted by this committee, and many of you who are present voted um, in favor of it. And um, the purpose of our position, which indeed differs from the proposal, is to safeguard fundamental rights online. Uh, therefore, we have proposed quite some changes, including the title itself of the regulation. For example, we don't want compulsory upload filters which would result in massive overblocking of legal and legitimate material because they can never understand context as humans can. And they are so easy to circumvent and ineffective. If you remember last year, we had hundreds of thousands of internet users on the streets who were protesting against upload filters. And this is why this approach is fully unacceptable. Also, the parliament wants removal orders to be issued by an independent authority in the country of residence of the relevant provider. And we want to provide for effective remedy and legal review of such orders. This regulation is setting a precedent for regulating illegal content online in a global network. And for that reason, we are determined to get it right. Internet users and businesses, journalists and artists, researchers, and broadcasters, they are all watching us. And we've received many letters and input and are having many events um, with civil society, with industry. Um, we've had letters from internet pioneers, positions from the Fundamental Rights Agency, and even <clears throat> three UN special rapporteurs that reminded us how important it is to safeguard fundamental rights online when dealing with terrorist content. Now, the key in these negotiations is that we, the Parliament, stands united behind its position. And I would like to thank the Rapporteur and my fellow shadow Rapporteurs for doing just that, uh, for negotiating on, on this position. We've effectively only been negotiating for two months or so, so far. And the file is by no means blocked, but <clears throat> we've made significant progress on several issues, as my colleagues have pointed out. Um, <clears throat> there has been, um, in the last trilogue, for example, a real spirit of finding common ground. Uh, we are on a good way with this file, and we are also working on co possible compromises ourselves in Parliament. What's important is to, to make it clear to, to Council and the Commission that our proposal, the Parliament's proposal as it stands, would have massive added value in terms of effectiveness. We would make sure that terrorist content is removed faster by introducing a one-hour time frame, which doesn't exist so far. We would make sure that um, we'd have an effective and enforceable mechanism to address terrorist content hosted abroad, which doesn't exist so far. We would institutionalize cross-border cooperation of competent authorities. Uh, we'd allow um, authorities to impose measures on providers to better address terrorist content online, for example, uh, by allowing users to flag illegal content um, or by increasing the number of staff dealing with reported content. Uh, we'd allow for a better prosecution of terrorist propaganda by obliging providers to report terrorist content and to preserve relevant data. So we are working together to find a solution that will both effectively address terrorist content while at the same time protect fundamental rights. And we are on a good way. I would like to thank everyone who's in the negotiating team. Now it would be for the ID, uh, Monsieur 